Today I'm going to be walking you through step by step how I printed my own fabric and I'm not going to leave anything out. I'm going to give you guys all the details so if this is something that you're interested in then stay tuned and let's get right into it. So a few months ago I got really interested in digital drawing so I decided to get an iPad and an Apple Pencil. The digital drawing app that I downloaded and used is called Procreate and it is only one payment of $9.99, which isn't bad at all. So I started to play around with it and eventually realized that I wanted to design my own fabric. So I started to research how I could do that. So the first thing I did was I went on YouTube to figure out how I could make a seamless repeat pattern using the app Procreate. And basically what that means is you don't just have a drawing that you made just repeated, like it all kind of blends together. And I found the perfect video for that it is actually by brave the woods on YouTube and it is called how to repeat seamless pattern and procreate so it's literally exactly what I was looking for and I'm going to leave the link to that in the description below so I just wanted to show you a little bit of my process so first I kind of sketched out the layout then I went into more detail just like an outline I started filling in the colors and then I started to play around with the colors one of the really great things about procreate is that you could change colors really easily. They make the process really easy just in general with digital drawing. No erasing, just hitting a back button. <laughs> I'm just showing you all the different variations I came up with until I found one that I really liked. So this ended up being the final design that I made and then I went back and made it into a seamless repeat pattern and that turned into this. You'll understand more of what I did here once you watch that seamless repeat pattern video. This is basically just me multiplying those squares. So now let's get into the actual process of printing it. So going back to this image, this was the final design that I saved as a JPEG and sent off to companies when I was inquiring about getting my fabric printed. Also, I do want to mention that there are other ways other than just digital drawing on Procreate to design your own fabric, but I'm walking you through the process that I did. So I downloaded the Alibaba app and just started playing around. And in the search bar, I just typed in custom swim swimsuit fabric or swimsuit fabric and all of these manufacturers will pop up and the first thing that I did was I looked at their ratings and reviews and if everything was all good then I sent them a message about what I was looking for. Also you have to ask them about the minimum order quantity because some of them will only allow you to do a custom printed fabric if it's a bulk order. And I'm going to read off the exact message that I sent them. I basically just copy and pasted it to all of the good manufacturers because I've heard that you want to get multiple samples from different places and so I said, hello, I am interested in a custom printed high quality swimsuit fabric. I would provide my own art as a vector image for the print. Please let me know your prices for 20, 50, and 100 yards of custom swimsuit fabric, as well as a time frame that it could be done. I am open to the fabric content as long as the fabric is high quality. Thank you. So I did get a few responses and I'll share with you one of the responses that I got. She said, yes, we do that. I would like to send you a sample. And then she let me know the prices. So for 20 yards, it would be $4.50 per yard. For 50 yards, $4.30 per yard. And for 100 yards, $4 per yard. So I said, okay, I'm interested. She said, okay, great. Send us your design in high resolution, AI or PDF. And then she also mentioned JPEG with 300 DPI. And that's when I mentioned that I wanted it to be 10 inches by 10 inches. Also, I do wanna mention something that my friend told me about because this was my first time doing this. If you want to protect it and make sure that that design stays exclusive to you, you want to have them sign an NDA. Personally, I moved on without doing that because this was kind of like a personal project, but if you want to make sure that your designs stay exclusive to you, I recommend looking into how to protect your designs, especially overseas. So then I sent her this image. This was the JPEG image. 10 inches by 10 inches, 300 DPI. Then she said, I will send you some samples. All you have to pay for is shipping. She asked for my address and whatever she needed in order to send me the payment link. The shipping was a flat fee of $40. And then she said that she would have it shipped out the next day. This process moved a lot quicker than what I thought. I was sending a few inquiries one day and the next day I was having samples shipped out. Also I got my samples pretty quickly as well. I got them, I think it was less than a week that I got them, like just a few days. So once I chose the fabric sample that I liked based on how it felt and the fabric content, I messaged her back and I told her all of this information that she had on the sticker so she knew which one I was talking about. And then I decided on 20 yards 
at $450 per yard. And my total ended up coming to $160 with shipping included. So it ended up being around $8 per yard, which still isn't bad for a custom printed swimsuit fabric. So the 20 yards did take a little bit longer than a few days, but definitely no more than two weeks. So this process happened really quickly. So this is the large roll of swimsuit fabric that I got in the mail. 20 yards of this custom printed fabric and I absolutely am in love with this and I'm in love with this process of just designing something to make it into something else and I hope that I helped you guys in your process if you want to do the same and that is really it for the step-by-step -step on designing and printing my own fabric.